for Vancouver Quadra. Um, Madam Speaker, tens of thousands of international students flock to British Columbia every year, bringing in over a half a billion dollars of direct revenues for our communities and our small businesses. And Canada-wide, this industry is worth $8 billion. But the government is eliminating visa services in some of the most important countries that are the source of these students. And now, those students will likely go to other countries to learn English. So, why would the government attack the international education industry, the en one of the engines of our economy, at the very time that this economy is sputtering? Yeah. Uh, the Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Madam Speaker, we're doing no such thing. Uh, we are not removing visa services from any country. Uh, we are doing things more efficiently than in the past, which means that students can apply online. Uh, they can also go to visa application centers, which provide professional service. Uh, we are so we have significantly. I know the Liberals don't like to hear the facts, Mr. <laughs> Madam Speaker. But the facts are that we are true, issuing true. Uh, a huge increase in student visas over five years ago. More foreign students are coming to Canada and benefiting from our educational experience. Yeah. Mm. They